Critical theories are called critical theories because they criticize the classic theories of realism, liberalism, and Marxism. Critical theories insist that reality is not as simple as the classic theories explain. Classical theories universalize the behavior of the states. Realism believes that all states are always in a state of war and states can never be friends. Hence, states do not cooperate. Liberalism, on the other hand, believes that states always tend to cooperate as it is in their interest. Marxism believes that all states want to maximize their economic interests and hence try to exploit others for their own benefit. Thus, the classical theories universalize the nature of states. Critical theories claim that it is not always the same. They insist that the nature of behavior of states can become different depending on whom and when it is dealing with. Critical theory was presented by Frankfurt School of Thought and it is a post-positive theory. Positive theories are those which use scientific methods. Post-positivism disagrees and insists that things are subjective and hence they cannot be explained by objective answers like classical theories of IR gives simple explanation for explaining the nature of state. Some critical theories in international relations are constructivism, feminism and postmodernism. What does postmodernism mean? It means the era after modernism. The word modernism is linked with the Peace of Westphalia 1648. That is, states are the major actors in the system. Postmodernism looks beyond states and considers the important role of non state actors in shaping the order. Postmodernism explains that how states behave politically is very much influenced by the abstract values of the particular society or nation like the language, culture, norms or things like that. Postmodernists criticize the classical theories in following ways. They insist that groups like women and minorities have been ignored by the classical theorists. Postmodernists believe that states are nothing but social constructs. They consider that borders are not real, but they are abstractions. And hence, states themselves are social constructs. There is nothing what should be called a national interest. For postmoderns, national interest simply does not exist. Postmodernists say that classical theories measure power in tangible terms that can be measured like wealth and military, but they do not value norms and language as power. The most important critique of postmodernism is this that they consider the behavior of states as irrational. For classical or positive theories, or for instance modernism relating to state system after Westphalian peace of 1648, the states behave rationally. Realism says states are rational and hence are always ready to fight. Liberalism on the other hand says states are rational and hence they always cooperate. However, postmodernism critiques on them and says that states are irrational. And hence when states are irrational according to postmodernists, their behavior can never be predicted. And when their behavior cannot be predicted, there is no point in international relations at all.